All right, everyone, we got the 5070 Ti today at 1440p. We're just going to go through all the settings and see when we need to start doing some upscaling. And right here, we're at 130 FPS, so no joke, uh, this is uh, probably going to be a pretty powerful card for this resolution. But uh, we're just going to see what it takes to get it there and uh, go through all the different settings for you today. So 143 FPS here, so let's just jump over into it. Uh, I think we're going to have a really good experience though. So let's go into graphics and kick on that medium setting. Everything looks good down here. Turn all this off and uh, let's ju just jump back into it at medium. All right, so we're at 139 FPS. This is a little harder to run area. So if it runs well here, uh, you can pretty safely assume that it's going to run well for the remainder of the title. Uh, but we're at 126 FPS here. I will say that the 2.31 update has been pretty promising, a lot of stability. Uh, it tends to not hang up near as much. All the stutters uh, seems to be you know, really just smoothed out. We got a nice flat frame time graph, and uh, yeah, this has been a really good update. Uh, 130 FPS here, uh, 1440, so let's just jump into it and keep on going. Gonna go over here and click on the high setting. Turn all that stuff off. Don't need any upscaling at the moment. Turn all this stuff off and let's jump back in all right so this is high <clears throat> we're still well over 100 fps uh, if you hear my voice going out i just need some water uh, but yeah we are at 136 fps here pcl is really low about 22 milliseconds 130 129 our vram allocation is around 6.2 so that looks really good uh, that shared VRAM, that third one down at uh, 476 megabytes. So as long as that one doesn't start moving around too much on us, that will indicate we're not using uh, any sort of swapped VRAM. Uh, so we're okay on that. I think we're gonna, not going to have any VRAM issues at all. So let's just keep on rolling through it and keep on going through the very next levels here. All right, so let's go up to that Ultra. And this is going to be the highest setting without ray tracing enabled. So we're just going to see how that performs. Let's go ahead and kick all that stuff off. Everything looks good here. And uh, let's just roll through it. So we have 114, 111, 106. Yeah, this is a pretty nice uh, experience here. Uh, over 100 on ultra settings, even without the ray tracing is pretty impressive. Uh, yeah, we're at 24 uh, milliseconds on our PCL. So nice and responsive. Anything under uh, 50 is awesome. Anything under 80 on a controller is pretty good. So, uh, you know, just keep those numbers in mind as I talk about the PCL, depending on your keyboard slash controller preferences. But yeah, we're at 9,700 FPS once we get through that roundabout, which tends to be a little bit harder to run uh, than this back stretch. But yeah, we're well over 100 FPS here. So let's jump over and do some light ray tracing. Uh, this is just going to introduce um, some shadows and it's not terribly hard to run. Uh, so we don't need any sort of upscaling yet, even with a little bit of ray tracing. So local shadows here, uh, everything else looks good. We're going to turn all this stuff back off and come in and go back into it. Okay, everything looks good. Let's go and apply that. And let's see how we perform here. So that dropped us down a little bit, not too much at all. Still a very respectable frame rate. Our PCL is at 32 milliseconds. And uh, yeah, we're at 95 FPS here. So everything looks really, really nice. So just gonna run around this corner here, 102 FPS, 94 FPS. Yeah, it looks really nice. So I'm just gonna get close to this roundabout and kick it over to those next settings. But um, yeah, PCL is super low and we're not even doing any upscaling yet. So we're probably gonna just have to do a little bit of upscaling on that next setting. It tends to be a little bit uh, more challenging uh, with that medium setting. So let's jump over to ray tracing medium uh, we're not going to use any sort of upscaling still. Let's go ahead and turn that off. Uh, everything looks good here. That just introduced the sun shadows and all this down here. Of course, we're going to turn that off because it drives me crazy turning that stuff on. But everything looks good. Um, no need to do any upscaling at the moment. We're going to see if we need to um, get it over 60. So this gives us like right around 60. Uh, not quite 60 all of the time. So uh, it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to do some quality upscaling uh, if you wanted to do that uh, medium level of ray tracing at 1440. Uh, again, you know, it's extremely acceptable to do uh, quality and balanced uh, on 1440. So we're just going to check it out and go from there. So around 59, 62 FPS, PCL still really low, about 38 milliseconds. 
So let's jump back into it over here and come down here. Let's kick on the ultra ray tracing and we're going to um, turn on the quality upscale and come down here and make sure ray reconstruction is on and uh, no path tracing yet. So this is all the ray tracing turned on. This is gonna be ultra lighting. We're gonna go up to psycho after this uh, before we jump into path tracing. Let's go ahead and turn all this stuff off. So everything looks good here, just a recap. So everything is on the ultra ray tracing quality DLSS. Uh, got ray reconstruction turned on, all that is on ultra and everything looks good. All right, so let's jump into it and let's see what we can expect. So that gives us 72 FPS, 71 FPS. So yeah, we're looking good here, 78. Uh, definitely stretching its legs here. Quality DLSS looks phenomenally good. Those reflections look great. Uh, and everything, of course, is starting to really come together in the uh, quintessential cyberpunk look. Uh, nothing beats path tracing and ray tracing in cyberpunk. The, the way it's implemented in this game is just, uh, it's just really damn good. And I love uh, just stopping and looking at some of the scenery sometimes. It looks so nice. All right, so yeah, we are at 76 FPS and not wreck. Let's see, turn around here. All right, so let's jump over. All right, so before I do that, I just wanna make sure we are covering the uh, other thing here. We need to go into this ray trace lighting, uh, switch it over to Psycho. So this is quality, everything looks good here. Turn all this stuff back off and let's jump into it. All right, so this would be the highest level of ray tracing you can run without going to path tracing. Quality DLSS still gives you a nice playable frame rate in the mid 70s and you are at 35 milliseconds. Uh, so this is a really responsive, super easy, nice way to play it. Looks insanely good. Um, I really love this setting a lot. You, you keep your performance uh, really high and your upscaling doesn't have to be as aggressive, uh, but it still looks extremely good. Um, you know, Ray Trace is uh, still a very, very beautiful setting. You don't have to go to path tracing. Path tracing is going to be difficult to run though. So let's just jump over and go to that path tracing uh, and see what kind of performance hit we do get and then make some adjustments after that. So let's go and just keep it on quality just to keep the test clean. All right, so let's jump down here, turn all this off, go and apply that so everything looks good. Ray reconstruction's on quality and we are on that path tracing setting. So even with path tracing and quality, you are looking like 54 FPS still. So PCL's down in the uh, mid 40s, 40, 46 milliseconds, and that looks really good. So, I mean, you could do some frame generation from here. We'll definitely take a look at it on the frame generation section. Uh, but yeah, you're still really nice uh, as far as frame rates go. You don't have to absolutely have 60 all of the time. Like I said, this is a pretty hard to run area. So it will run better outside of Dogtown. I just like to test in here to kind of make sure no one gets disappointed. Uh, but yeah, we are looking like 50 FPS here. Uh, let's just jump over and do a little bit more upscaling and see what we can expect there. So everything left the same. We are on 60, about 61 FPS, yeah. So our PCL is sitting around 39 milliseconds, so that's very acceptable as well. So really, you don't even need to go all the way up to um, performance uh, because it's really holding on to uh, 60 pretty pretty respectably here. Uh, like I said, this is a very hard to run area. So if you're getting 60 around here, you're probably gonna get 70 to 80 in the other parts of the game pretty easily. Uh, but yeah, you're around 66 FPS around this back stretch. It does tend to pick up a little bit. So we are looking like, I'm gonna wreck is what we're looking like. We're looking like 40 milliseconds. All right, so let's jump into it and go down to that performance level. So this will be performance, and uh, this is, you know, also a very good way to play it. If you want to do some path tracing, keep your PCL nice and low, frame rate nice and high without having to worry about any sort of frame generation. This is your setting here. Uh, performance tends to be a little bit grainier, uh, but with some sharpening, you can bring it back. Uh, you just got to watch your sharpening when it comes to uh, ghosting with frame generation. Uh, it tends to exaggerate the ghosting some if you have your sharpening too high. But point two is about the sweet spot, which is where we're at now. So um, let's jump over and do some frame generation. I'm gonna do a restart and I'll be right back. All right, so we're back into it. I've dropped it to uh, ultra with the psycho lighting and 2X frame generation 
with a quality upscale and that gives us a PCL that is very respectable around 40 milliseconds with 129 130 FPS again everything's looking pretty good hardware wise we're not getting anywhere close to our VRAM limit so that's a promising sign so I'm just gonna keep on going and jump over to that very next setting and see what we can expect so right here we are at quality let's go to balanced let's keep on going here that gives us about 143 FPS and looking really good here so uh, that drops our PCL down a little bit to about 38 milliseconds low 40s uh, with 155 140 FPS down here especially on this back stretch oh my god I knew I was gonna wreck I knew it get out of the way let's go I'm trying to test here all right yeah the cops are being called that's great all right so let's just keep on going and go to performance to see if we can get that PCL down even lower that will honestly be the only reason that you want to drop from a quality with a PCL of 40 milliseconds uh, with a nice high frame rate on quality you were fine but you know if you do want lower a lower PCL uh, you can go to that 30 uh, you can get about 35 milliseconds by going down to uh, going down to um, performance all right go ahead and do a buddy break right there all right so yeah we are looking like 165 fps here all right so let's go over to that overdrive setting and see what we can expect there i'm uh, going to kick it over to overdrive go back to quality uh, of course transformer model ray reconstruction is on path tracing is on now so we're going to go down and turn all this stuff off and let's see what we can expect with a 2x frame gen on path tracing and just let's keep an eye on that pcl <clears throat> so PCL is around 48 milliseconds with 100 FPS with full path tracing. And uh, yeah, this is a really good way to play it. Uh, you got plenty of frames. Your hardware is holding up just fine. Nowhere near the VRAM limit at all. And you are enjoying some really low response rate for path tracing. I mean, you are at 50 milliseconds here uh, with a 2x frame gen. So this would be very, very uh, acceptable in my opinion, especially, you know, if you're not someone who necessarily has to have like the highest re reflex time in the world. Uh, and it's just worth noting that this is all done with uh, reflex plus boost enabled. So just keep that in mind. It does help your PCL quite a bit. So make sure you have that setting enabled. I believe it is in the video tab. Uh, but yeah, we are looking good here. Let's just go down to uh, the next level, which is balanced, and see what we can expect there. And uh, there's really no no big reason to go to 4x. I tend to only use frame generation to the point where I, you know, deem it necessary. Uh, same with the upscaling. That's why I structure my test the way I do. I like to see when that threshold happens. But yeah, we are at 109 FPS here. PCL got a break. We're down to 42 milliseconds here. So let's just keep on going around it and jump over into the settings again go down to performance keep everything else the exact same see what that does for pcl let's give it a minute to get itself situated so that gives us a pcl of about 43 milliseconds and 125 fps so this is also um you know acceptable i would probably say that quality is just fine i would put up with a little bit higher pcl to make sure that i don't have to upscale quite as hard uh, because at 1440p quality still looks really good but I don't like to really get down around performance that much unless I just absolutely need to and you don't really need to on this card at 1440 let's go up to 4x and just see what we can expect there I'm gonna bring it over here <clears throat> bring it back up to quality go through overdrive again and just give you guys uh, kind of a test on you know how high our PCL might get with 4x this is kind of why I say I don't like to use it if I don't need it because our PCL crept up, it's around 61, uh, but actually, you know, it kind of is making a liar out of me. It's actually bringing it back down uh, to about 57. So it looks like it's not that much different, honestly, than 2X. So that's a really promising sign. Uh, it is a little higher sometimes, but not by much. Uh, 60, 60 milliseconds or mid 50s is perfectly acceptable for, uh, for a controller, especially a game like this. So yeah, we are at 182 FPS. This might be actually how I play it. I expected the PCL to just take a major hit. But yeah, let's just keep going here and uh, go down to balanced and see what we can expect. So 4X balanced uh, 1440p, full path tracing, absolutely maxed out all the way to the rim. We are at 48 milliseconds, 185 FPS. Yeah, this is a beast of a card for 1440p, man. 
you don't even need to upscale this much. All right, so I'm gonna go over to performance and see what we can expect there. So let's jump over here, go to performance. So 4X performance, it is a little bit softer looking, not bad, not bad at all actually, especially if you're a little distance from the screen, say you're playing it on a TV or whatever, uh, this would be fine too. Although if you're playing it on a TV, you're probably at 60 Hertz and you definitely don't need 220 FPS. You, that's just kind of a waste, but yeah, we're at 45 milliseconds here. And uh, this game performs exceptionally well at 1440 on this card. Uh, I'll probably do a 4K video version uh, in the next day or two. If you're interested in that, be sure you subscribe and hit the bell. That way you won't miss it. But uh, if you're uh, coming back, if you're a repeat offender to my channel, I really appreciate you coming back and watching my stuff. It really helps out the channel uh, just get lifted and makes the algorithm happy. Uh, so I really do appreciate it. And until next time, I will see you all in the very next video. Peace.